Hi guys, it's April and 2017 is over. I'm really excited about 2018, but I want to quickly look back at 2017 and all the goals and resolutions I set out for myself because I want to see how much I have grown since the beginning of the year. At the beginning of the year, I set a goal of reading 156 books with a stretch goal of 200 books. I managed to read 159 books. I am okay with that. With everything that has happened this year, I am okay with not hitting my stretch goal. There was a little while there that I wasn't even sure I was going to hit 156 that I had set out for myself, but I did, and I'm happy, and it's a thing. I also set out to do collabs this year. That is always one of my goals, is continuing to do collabs, and this year I got involved with Rita Rama, I got involved with the YA Booktube Awards, both 2016 and now 2017. Look for those videos to come. I'm kind of excited. I was also part of the Travel and Coloring Book, which was extremely exciting. I had a few buddy reads in there as well, except for it kind of it tapered off a little bit there. That that was unfortunate, but we're going to do better next year. It's, it's going to continue to be a thing because I really enjoy doing buddy reads, and I will never say no to buddy reads. I won't. I, I just won't. I also set out a goal to do two reviews a month. I have n no idea what I was thinking when I put this goal up. I think because the year before I said one review a month and I hit that. This year I think I only did about like 16 reviews. That is not 24. But I'm still okay with that. I, the fact that I continued to do review and I didn't let those slide off. Because those are the type of videos that involve a lot of preparation and thought. I can't just ramble at you guys. I could, but it wouldn't be a cohesive review, and so those are ones I have to think about more. So I'm one of those people who just likes to sit down and film. And so reviews for me are always a little bit harder, so I don't look forward to doing them as much, but the fact that I continue to do them, I'm proud of myself for. So even though I didn't hit 24 reviews this year, 16 is still still a big step for me, so that I'm very excited about. And then my last and final goal was to do creative videos. It started out with doing my coloring videos, and then when things happened and shifted, I did coloring and my DIY style videos with my wedding stuff coming on. I will always and forever continue to do that. It's something that I enjoy doing. And so the fact that I continue to do different creative things throughout the year I think I hit that goal. I am excited about that. Those are some of my favorite kind of videos to do. They're a lot more editing than the standard videos, but I like them. I like them a lot. I think it's something that's going to continue to happen on my channel. So you can look forward to those continuing on in the future. They're just fun. Those were all of my goals and resolutions for the year 2017. I think I did fairly well. I've got no regrets. Tell me down below one thing that you were thankful for in 2017. I'll see you in 2018. I heart your beautiful faces. Bye.